Dr. Desai, would you consider nutraceuticals an alternative or just a supplement to regular medicine? So what's happening today is that uh, the medicine which are required, the modern medicine which is there, needs to be taken, there is a evidence behind it. However, at the same time, many of these medicines, if you look at chronic conditions, you look at cardiometabolic conditions like diabetes, you look at hypertension, you look at cholesterol, they need to be taken for a longer duration. You look at certain conditions like your arthritis, osteoarthritis of the knees, some of these medicines have to be taken for a longer duration. And when you take these for longer durations, there can be certain effects. Therefore, you need to have certain supplements which can help you to actually counter some of the effects. At the same time, these supplements can also decrease the dosages of these medicines which you are taking. Mm -hmm. They can help you to actually uh, look at these uh, diseases from a long-term management perspective so that you are able to have those healthy part of it. So if you take certain cholesterol lowering uh, uh, <coughs> drugs, which Dr. Thakkar would know it very well, they can have certain effects on your muscles. In fact, Dr. Thakkar, would have the better perspective of this in his clinical practice. How do you really manage these patients with supplements is I think something which our audience would like to know. I think Isha is a perfect example of nutraceutical product. She says for the last 14 years, she's been on a plant-based diet. Uh, who wouldn't want to look like her? <laughs> who wouldn't want to have hair like her? You see, today we are having young ladies going from pillar to post. We are having men going all over for hair transplants, forgetting that nutraceutical medicine nurtures hair growth. They are forgetting that even Google helps in cholesterol reduction. It's very easy to pop in a statin and say, I'm okay. Statins are a must if you have high cholesterol. But high dose statins can become medium dose or low dose if you have the correct nutraceuticals. You walk into a pharmacy, CVS in America, 10 years ago, it was studded with statins. Walk into a pharmacy now in the West and you will find turmeric, you will find Google. She has an American background, she's nodding. <laughs> and you can see the sales of these lifestyle products which are natural because they are natural extracts obviously they have the lesser chemical side effects of drugs they are easily available they are palatable at all ages they are safe now i'm not saying because they are natural all of them are safe nutraceuticals of today go through a rigorous check our own country has the FSSAI and they see to it that these natural products are not a one night stand where they are produced by fly by night operators. They go through scientific evidence and then after standing the test of time, they are definitely supplemental and they are growing in their stature to stand shoulder to shoulder with medicines. I'm not saying discard medicines. I'm a clinician. I'm a physician. You come to me, you'll get seven medicines and one or two nutraceuticals. But my prescription has changed because the acceptance has changed. Science has taught me to write nutraceuticals confidently. Mm -hmm. And here I am telling my audience to accept nutraceuticals confident. That's the message. That's lovely. The perfect marriage, like you said before. Now, it seems like this isn't just Ayurveda or home remedies. Like you said, it's, it's scientifically backed. It's properly analyzed the exact proportions that are needed. Do you think that this has the potential, Dr. Desai, to replace modern medicine, or it'll always be just uh, a supplement to the modern medicine? So when you look at today, uh, today there's a concept going on called as functional medicine. So what's functional medicine? Functional medicine is looking at the root cause of the disease. What exactly, and that's what we studied, uh, Dr. Thakkar in medicine, that what is the physiological basis, what is the pathology which is there, so what, why exactly disease are caused? And that's where these root causes are going to be looked at it, what exactly are the deficiencies which are going to be in your bodies, 
is there a vitamin deficiency is there a iron deficiency so this is something which is a part of medicine which has been a part of medicine in our curriculum we were looked at when we looked at it we talked a, quite a bit about vitamin c deficiencies vitamin d deficiencies which are there iron deficiencies and which are known if you look at the country overall there are nearly 50% of men and women suffering from iron deficiencies so it's a part of it and if you look at this whole nutraceutical part it's if you look at it there is a different areas which are there there are nutraceuticals there are probiotics there are prebiotics uh, there is uh, uh, your uh, vitamins minerals functional foods and now it's all extending into sports medicine and women and men who are doing gymming and as sir very uh, uh, well mentions it gymming and slimming is something which is there and for that you require these supplements at the same time there's a lot of evidence which is coming up the western world has actually put that focus and the pandemic has also shifted the focus in india mm -hmm. and therefore if you look at it there are these phytochemicals if you even look at modern medicine several of the drugs which are used are from plant origin in fact aspirin this has been is from a plant of origin oh. so it's not versus a or b or versus pharmaceuticals or nutraceuticals it's you need to look at a overall comprehensive management of the patient that's that's where we are today at this point of time mm. so your question needs to be rephrased we are not sitting here to replace Got what it. you said will nutraceuticals replace medicines right. but what has replaced illness is the concept mm. of wellness nutraceuticals preach prolong and get to the root of wellness the antioxidant effect of nutraceuticals for aging for coronary artery disease for hair fall for retinal problems all can be addressed over a period of time by taking nutraceuticals which have antioxidant effects but if you still develop diabetes i cannot say don't take medicines so one will nurture prolong and sustain the other will treat but nurturing prolonging and sustaining is also therapy because wellness is more important than illness doctors treat disease wellness prevents disease so it will have to be a marriage whether the wife is important or the husband you have to decide